C data sets and algorithms. These all consist of one combination, right? These are the five subjects which are really important, not only for the gate exam, but also for the interviews. In the last month, don't read anything new. Okay, just revise your notes properly, do the test and analyze. That's it. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing extremely well. This is Rajat Rawat and in this video I will be discussing about the how to crack the gate exam. So we will discuss the step by step process everything right from the beginning like what is the gate exam and then I will be discussing how you can crack the gate exam, what subjects you need to learn in order to crack gate exam and apart from this I will also told you the strategies and the tips which are required and which are really important in order to crack the gate exam and various other aspects are also discussed in this video so let's start this video without wasting time so first of all i will be discussing about uh, what is the gate exam okay so gate is basically an abbreviation for graduate aptitude test in engineering so it is basically an entrance test which is used get the admission into iits nits triple ITs and various other institutes for the mtech ms or PhD programs okay so these three are the programs in which uh, one can take admission in these prestigious colleges now we will discussing about the structure of the gate exam so it basically comprises of 65 questions okay from question number one to question 65 and uh, the total marks is uh, 100 marks and the number of weightage given to each question is basically like the questions are of one one mark questions and there are two marks question also there okay and the pattern in which the questions came they are basically mcq that multiple choice question you have to select one correct answer out of the four and there are msqs also there and msqs basically means multiple select questions means there can be multiple correct answers out of the given options okay so you have to take all the correct answers which are uh, there corresponding to the given question and the third is basically fill in the blanks for the numerical type questions you have to find out the answer and then you have to write the numerical answer that what is the answer corresponding to that question so these three are the types of questions that can be asked in the gate exam that basically usually asked in the gate exam so this is the structure of the gate exam okay so now we will be discussing about uh, gate computer science okay or not computer science we will discuss in general okay let's not stick to computer science so in gate usually it is of 100 marks so in every discipline whether it is computer science electrical mechanical civil any other discipline so out of 100 marks 15 marks is reserved for the general aptitude okay so your aptitude consists of same thing almost in every branch there are some minute differences in the aptitude course M might be but almost everything is same aptitude okay this consists of quantitative aptitude okay your numerical uh, ability type questions logical uh, questions are there and then english is also there the grammatical and the verbs everything like this okay so these all consist of 15 marks the general aptitude and the rest 85 marks is consist of your core subjects like in computer science all the core subjects consist of 85 marks likewise in other disciplines like civil mechanical their own core subjects consist of 85 marks so this is the structure of the gate exam in which 15 marks is reserved for the general aptitude and 85 marks reserved for the core subjects okay next we'll be discussing about uh, cracking the gate exam so in order to crack the gate exam uh, the cutoff varies for every discipline okay like for the computer science if i say the cutoff usually uh, lies between 25 to 29 marks out of 100 you need to score 25 to 29 in between it, it varies year to year like three years before it is it was 25 and uh, gradually the one one or two year before it was 29 okay so it varies as per the difficulty of the paper so usually it will be 25 to 29 so if you score this much marks uh, like let's stick to the upper bound if you score 29 marks then you will easily qualify gate okay you can easily crack gate now in order to crack the gate exam 15 marks is for the general aptitude as i said previously okay so for the computer science students for the computer science discipline students if you uh, prepare general aptitude thoroughly you will be getting 15 marks okay and if you prepare data structures and algorithms you will be getting 15 marks 15 marks out of 
data sets and algorithms okay because usually it is a pattern which i am saying that uh, data sets and algorithms come in combination uh, it is almost a combination right c data sets and algorithms these all consist of one combination right because arrays in programming is nothing but a data structure and applying the algorithm on the array is nothing but algorithm okay so c data sets and algorithms if you prepare these three subjects you will easily score more than 15 marks in these subjects i am saying that these three subjects comprise of almost 20 marks almost okay minimum i am saying these three subjects comprise of 20 marks so if you perform or if you prepare aptitude as well as c data sets and algorithms you will easily crack the exam that's it because you need to score 29 marks in the upper round okay and data sets and algorithms and c these three alone comes for 20 marks minimum i am saying 20 marks and then there is aptitude also you can score 10 out of 15 that is okay if you prepare then you can score so that is how you can crack the gate exam you can easily get 30 marks okay so you need to prepare aptitude c data sets and algorithms and you are good to go to crack the gate exam so next we will be discussing about uh, if you want to crack the gate exam as well as you want to prepare for the interviews okay because as i said you that uh, in gate there are 85 marks weightage for the core subjects so we will be talking about the computer science domain so for the computer science you need core cs subjects which are very important not only for the gate but for the interview aspects also they are data structures algorithms operating systems computer networks and dbms these are the five subjects which are really important not only for the gate exam but also for the interviews even if you crack the gate exam after that when you sit for the placements then the company will definitely ask questions from these subjects okay so you need to prepare well for the data structures algorithms programming operating systems dbms at least prepare these five well computer networks is also important but usually uh, networking companies ask computer networks questions okay but in most of the interviews you will be asked questions on these four subjects definitely that is the programming data structures algorithms operating systems and dbms and for safer side prepare networking also okay so these are the five or six core subjects which you need to prepare well in order to crack the gate as well as in order to prepare for the interviews also for the product based company or any other company okay now we will be talking about to get into iits okay so let's say it is basically to get into iits you require minimum 55 marks i am talking about computer science discipline okay not about any other discipline so to get into iits minimum you require 55 marks but this is hypothetical okay because uh, it varies from uh, year to year like uh, last year in 2019 or 20 the cutoff went high and it required 63 marks to get into iit okay and uh, this year like the 2022 uh, the students are getting into iit with 55 56 57 marks okay so it varies from year to year but to be on the safer side if you score 60 marks then you will good to go into the iits okay and uh, to get into a good iit like top iit uh, trichy warangal suratkal or orkela or calicut like this iits uh, you require at least i think uh, 50 marks you will be required in order to get into the good iit now i will be telling about the strategy the strategy in order to crack the gate exam okay this is thing how you prepare for the gate exam while you are in the preparation phase okay so first of all you need to prepare first of all you will be uh, preparing the subjects okay so if you don't know anything then you will be preparing uh, you are taking coaching either it is a online coaching or it is a offline coaching okay that's up to you now whenever you are preparing or watching the videos or doing the offline coaching uh, then make the notes from those videos or the coaching which they are uh, teaching you okay make the notes in in a copy so that it will be uh, helpful for reference in the future okay so making notes while uh, watching videos okay that is the first thing second thing is uh, revising them because once a time if you complete some subjects then you need to revise uh, those subjects otherwise you forgot all those subjects okay and there is no use to go to the other subjects if you don't know the previous subjects knowledge okay so you need to revise them and uh, while revising them i will say you, you already have your notes which you made while uh, you are seeing the videos okay now while revising these notes what you do revise all those notes make the short notes out of those big notes okay because these short notes will definitely help you in the in the last month although short notes are not required many students are there who haven't prepared short notes but they are able to get the good uh, rank in the gate exam okay but uh, i must say it is a good thing because in the end uh, you can't be able to read from the entire notes entire notes because one subject consists of almost one copy right one copy one whole copy is consist of one subject so what you need to do you need to make short notes out of those whole notes 
okay so that when you are in the end in the end month you can prepare from those short notes easily and you will be while revising just make the bullet points the most important points from those notes and then jot down uh, into the short notes copy okay so that it will be helpful in the future next thing is topic wise test suppose you are already watching the videos and you are uh, doing the revision now it's time for the practice how you practice practice from the test series which you have taken okay so i will say august or September it is a good time to start your practice I start from topic wise test that is the most important because you are able to get the topic from that subject and you are able to understand what mistakes you are doing in that topic okay so start from topic wise test and whatever mistakes you are doing you just jot them down in the new copy uh, mistake copy and whatever new concepts which you are getting from the from those uh, topic wise test or any test just note them down okay in a separate copy next is after that uh, start giving the subject test okay not the topic wise subject test that is one complete subject test okay and uh, after every test which you give thoroughly analyze that test okay thoroughly analyze even for the correct answers also which you are getting thoroughly analyze that what exactly is the intuition behind the question okay analyze the test series completely that is the most important even for the correct answers as well as wrong answers so analysis is most important give time for the analysis okay one most important thing is while you are doing the practice don't forget to practice the previous year questions of the gate that is the most important thing because you are able to understand what type of questions and what difficulty level of the questions are asked in the gate exam okay so practice previous year questions at least two to three times that whole previous year questions two to three times practice this at least that will give you a gist that how the questions are asked after this subject wise test you can start the multi subject test that is also important because sometimes what happened that a question came which consists of intersection of two subjects discrete match as well as uh, like set theory okay some question came which consists of these two subjects then you can basically do this and prepare them like uh, computer organization subjects is there and there is operating system a mix of this game like memory hierarchy anything okay so that will help you in understanding the intersection of the subjects how these two subjects are linked together start the grand test after the multiple test start the grand test grand test basically means nothing but whole test which consists of entire gate course all the subjects okay it consists of all subjects uh, test in one test okay the grand test okay that is uh, the most important and you should give at least 10 to 15 grand tests before the actual exam and try to give that grand test at the same time slot at which your exam will be scheduled that your gate exam okay so that you will be able to get the feel like environment in the real exam also that you are giving just like a mock exam okay in the last month this is very important in the last month don't read anything new okay just revise your notes properly do the test and analyze that's it don't learn any new things in the last month that is the most important thing and in the last month you will be doing your uh, revision from the short notes because you don't have that much time in the last month and you have to prepare all the subjects revision so that's where the use of short notes came okay in the last month you can uh, revise from your short notes one important tip is that while preparing for the gate exam don't ever think about admission into any iits okay don't think that i am getting 50 marks in the grand test and but in the iit it require at least 60 marks then how i will be getting the admission don't think anything about this okay this will definitely waste your time okay don't think anything about admission while you are preparing for the gate exam thinking about admission will start after your gate exam just uh, be cool and calm and don't uh, study one night before the exam okay in the one night before exam just don't study give you a proper sleep and uh, don't panic because in the exam sometimes what happened that three questions came consecutively and all of three are difficult and you can't able to solve them this situation came many times okay but you don't need to be in a hurry and don't need to in the panic okay just be calm and consistent okay just be calm and start doing the questions after that okay and the main thing is consistency is the key because during the preparation phase it is a, around five to six months at least you require for the whole gate exam okay minimum i am saying so you will be required consistency you know in this whole uh, duration okay so consistency is the big key for this and i advise you to prepare thoroughly and one thing I want to say that suppose if you have uh, done quite a lot of subjects you have prepared you have watched the videos make the notes and you are giving the test now what you can do in the starting when you when you have started your gate preparation you are just watching videos and making notes okay but in the mid like September or August you have already made the notes you have already done some revision and you have started the test also then what you can do you can split your time in the morning you will be learning new subjects means watching new videos and making notes and in the evening you will be doing revision as well as you will be doing test series analysis okay 
so like this you can split the time from september or august and always always analyze and revise uh, notes after uh, your test series after giving a test series analyze those weak areas work on them and then jot down the notes and the important or the new topics which you learned from those questions okay so that's all about the paper question strategy so that is how this is whole video about the how to crack the gate exam so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section and um, that's all about it thank you all the best